Baby Bus. Jiao 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 Jiao. Super Jiao Jiao Story Time. Mom, Mom, look at my dinosaur pajamas. Ahoy! <laughs> <laughs> Little dinosaur baby, are you here to listen to a story? Today's story is the emperor's new clothes. <laughs> Even the emperor likes new clothes. <laughs> yes, a long time ago, there was an emperor who changed a new set of clothes every day. He didn't care about. Anything but his new clothes. Wow! He wore a new set of clothes every day. Yes, all the people knew the emperor loved beautiful new clothes. One day, two people came to the palace. They said they could make the most beautiful clothes in the world. So. The soldiers brought them into the palace. Mommy, mommy, I want the coolest clothes too. <laughs> okay, the two men claimed that they could make a kind of beautiful, magical clothes, but only the clever people could see them, while foolish people couldn't see them. When the emperor heard that. He was overjoyed. He gave the men a big chest of gold coins, and urged them to make the clothes quickly. Wow! Such magical clothes! The foolish people can't see them. <laughs> <laughs> After a few days, the emperor sent a minister to see if the new clothes were ready. The minister went to the two men, and saw one holding a pair of scissors, and cutting the air. The other man was holding a needle and sewing something in the air, but their hands were empty. The minister couldn't see any new clothes. Ah,、uh, empty? Nothing at all. That's right. But the minister was afraid others would say he was a foolish man, because he couldn't see the clothes. So he lied, and told the emperor the new clothes were very beautiful. They were all glittery with colorful patterns. Wow! Sounds really beautiful. That's right. So the emperor was looking forward to seeing the new clothes. He waited, and waited, and finally the two men said the clothes were ready. They helped the emperor put the new clothes on. The ministers couldn't see any new clothes on the emperor, but they were afraid to be called fools. So they sang the praises of the clothes. Hmph! <laughs> These ministers really like to lie. Right, telling lies is really not good. Now the emperor also looked at his body in the mirror. He wasn't wearing anything, but he didn't dare to say it because only fools couldn't see the clothes. What? Even the emperor couldn't see the clothes. <laughs> That's right. Actually, the two men were crooks. There weren't any magical clothes. They were lying. What? They were lying. Yes, there weren't any magical clothes at all. So, of course, nobody could see them. But all the people were afraid to be called fools, so everyone pretended to be able to see the clothes. Oh, everyone was lying. There weren't any beautiful new clothes at all. That's right. At this time, 
One minister suggested the emperor put on the new clothes and hold a parade. The emperor agreed. The two crooks stripped the emperor stark naked and pretended to put the new clothes on him, even though there weren't any actual clothes. <laughs> stark naked! That's embarrassing! <laughs> <laughs> On the street, the people came to see the emperor's new clothes. Suddenly, a little child cried out, Why isn't the emperor wearing any clothes? <laughs> <laughs> the emperor is stark naked! Everyone looked. The emperor really wasn't wearing any clothes. All of them burst into laughter. The emperor couldn't pretend anymore. He crawled into the carriage in a hurry and rushed home in dismay. And the two crooks? They had already escaped quietly. <laughs> Foolish emperor and big crooks! <laughs>